Before start this video, please subscribe my channel and click on bell icon. Thanks. When Porsche unveiled the 2024 Cayenne, the lineup was once again topped by the Turbo GT going forward, this high-performance version will have its twin-turbo 4.0-liter V8 massage to deliver an extra 19 horsepower, 14 kilowatts, for a grand total of 650 horsepower, 485 kilowatts. It's enough muscle for a 0 to 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour, in 3. 3 seconds and a top speed of 190 miles per hour, 305 kilometers per hour. There's one problem, you can't buy it in Europe. Why? Due to stricter emissions regulations. The good news is that Porsche is planning an indirect substitute with a plug-in hybrid V8 model. It doesn't have a name yet so it's unclear whether ITLL be once again called the Cayenne Turbo SE Hybrid or not. We do know ITLL become the most powerful Cayenne ever made by offering a combined output of over 700 horsepower. For the sake of clarity, ITLL have more than 700 PS, which works out to 690 horsepower, that's still about 20 electrified ponies more than the Cayenne Turbo SE Hybrid had. As far as torque is concerned, the total output will exceed the 900 newton meters, 664 pound feet, offered by the old Cayenne Turbo SE Hybrid. The ICE will be good for over 500 horsepower, while the E motor is going to deliver nearly 200 horsepower. The latter will feed off an upgraded battery with a capacity increased by over 30% and support for faster charging. ITLL do over 186 miles per hour, 300 kilometers per hour, or slightly more than its predecessor, 183 miles per hour or 295 kilometers per hour. While the 0 to 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour, sprint time isn't mentioned, the old one needed 3. 8 seconds. One must wonder whether the upgraded plug-in hybrid setup is earmarked for the electrified Lamborghini Urus coming in 2024 considering the two SUVs are mechanically related by sharing the MLB Evo platform. It seems we'll have to wait a bit until the official reveal. With IAA Munich set for early September, Porsche could decide to bring the plug-in hybrid V8 Cayenne there to showcase the pricey crown jewel of the European variant. Thanks for watching my video. Credits to motor1.com. Please subscribe my channel for more auto updates.